Yes, my teeth and ambitions are bad. Be prepared. Mr. Dig is an arcade game from Microdeal, which puts you in a maze of fruit. As you move around, you dig a tunnel, and you need to avoid roaming meanies which also inhabit the maze. You can kill them off by throwing a power orb at them, or if you walk under a giant apple, it may fall and crush them. The pace of the game is cumbersome. As you move around the maze, you'd expect the tunnels you burrow would automatically join up with one another. But they don't. Thin strands of earth end up separating them. This means that luring a meanie underneath an apple needs a long vertical trek underneath it. Oh, and the apple also falls at the same rate that you move, but after a really long delay. On occasion, I ended up crushing myself with my own apples. The graphics aren't bad, and there are a load of very complicated bonuses that are rewarded for doing certain things. But the problem is that this type of game needs to be fast and fun to work. Mr. Dig, unfortunately, isn't either. In addition to the original Hunchback, the dragon has this curiosity clone named Quasimodo. The game is as you would expect, with a long wall of obstacles accessed one screen at a time. And whilst Esmeralda is no doubt waiting patiently for you at the very end, most screens just award you with nothing more than a bell end. The sprites are large, and jumping over smaller holes, even those guarded by some knights, is easy enough once you know how. But the screens with big moats, with platforms floating over them, are much more difficult to clear. When you die, the screen clears to show how many lives you have left. This is so stupid, there was easily room for this information in the status bar. Oh, and there's a difficulty level of very hard, which allows you to play this game at breakneck speed. Not a great game by any means, but I'd say a lot more playable than some. Shanghai is an oriental board game played with the pieces of a Mahjong set. It's all done in high resolution monochrome and the idea is to select matching tiles to clear the board. The twist is that you can only remove tiles from the edges and the tiles are stacked in various towers so that a great deal of them are hidden from view at the beginning of each game. Shanghai is brilliant. It's brilliant in the same way that Sudoku and crosswords are brilliant. Though this sped up video may suggest otherwise, your brain really has to think many moves ahead for you to even have a chance of clearing each screen. The only real drawback is that the mock 3D perspective and the small patterns on the tiles can be extremely difficult for your brain to process. But really this is an excellent game for the dragon and it'll keep you entertained for hours. Welcome to Temple of Doom, in which you play Indiana J sorry, I mean Starman Jones, and your task is to make it through five levels. You know when you've discovered the stairway to the next one, when you find an open trapdoor to fall through. The game looks good. Your strength is shown as a meter, two gloved hands show the possible exits from each room in the temple, and there are a number of objects to pick up and use. The game does fall down though, because the only thing you can really do is explore. There are no baddies to kill or avoid, and in fact with the help of the hands it's not difficult at all to find your way around. There's only one correct way to go, and it leads you to the objects you need before the location where you actually need them. I haven't played it all the way through, but I did reach level 3 on my very first goal, so I suspect Temple of Doom is probably far too easy for most people. Channel 8 presents its final text adventure, Waxworks. It's something of a peculiarity for the dragon, as on a 32k machine it's text only, whilst on the 64k machine it has graphics as well. The instructions say little more than the title, i.e. you're in a waxworks. Wandering around you find a few dummies and exhibitions, plus a foreboding looking tunnel. This tunnel leads you into an area of the museum where the waxworks have a life of their own. The Dragon is not a great machine for text adventures. There isn't a lot of usable screen real estate in the low resolution modes. Here, Channel 8 put the descriptions into a separate window, so that your east, west, north commands are at the bottom of the screen. The additional graphics available in the 64K version have to replace the entire description window, however, 
and they take so long to appear that I frequently just turn them off. Of course it's nice that Waxworks was released for the Humble Dragon, but it's not a great game. In fact, it's not even a good game, and the only reason you'd probably want it is because it's so hard to find.